Greetings folks, Chris here, and welcome to Two and Proper's Citizen Carry Channel. Ladies and gentlemen, this here is the Zastava M70-32 ACP Pistol. Okay folks, this is it. This is the Zastava M70 32 ACP pistol. And what a pretty little pistol this thing is. And folks, this is uncharted territory for me actually because this is the first time that I'm actually doing a review on a pistol I own and I'm immediately going to send it away forever because this specific Zastava M70 pistol has been nothing but problems for me. But before I go on, I want to emphasize that if you're looking to get this Zastava M70-32 ACP pistol, I would if I were you. I got unlucky with this one. It just so happens that I drew the short straw on this one and I got a lemon. And I'll just tell you what happened with mine. But I'll give a review on this, my impressions of it so far. Uh, and I'm going to give the impressions as if it did shoot well. Okay? Because the shots that did shoot well shot well. And we'll get into that in just a little bit. First, I had to send this back to Classic Firearms because after I cleaned all that Cosmoline off and got everything completely spick and span on this thing, and you can see that it is truly spick and span, the trigger pull on this was about probably, I would have to say, anywhere between 14 to 19 pound trigger pull. I mean, this is a single action only pistol with a 14 to 19 pound trigger pull. I'm guessing, but that it had to be. It was brutal. So I sent it back to Classic Firearms and they graciously replaced the hammer and trigger assembly in this handgun. They replaced that unit. And once they got it back to me, the trigger pull was outstanding. Okay, let's get it up close. Here it is and that's more like six or seven pound trigger pull. So it's a really nice trigger pull. And the reset for you, reset queens. I didn't leave you out. Here we go. And with the trigger pull again. So they replaced that assembly. And bingo, this thing had a great trigger. Very excited. So I ran it to the range with a box of Winchester White Box 32 ACP rounds. And it shot about half of them. The other half, I would pull the trigger and it would make this exact noise. And I was all like, what, 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 what? And people were like, what? And I would continuously pull the trigger until bang, it would finally go off, right? Now to me, that said firing pin. So I made sure, I checked the firing pin, made sure it was all clean and it was pretty good. The firing pin was nice and clean. And I thought, well, maybe it's the Winchester white box ammo. Those rounds have sort of a squared off top on them versus the rounded top here. As you can see on this here cellular and billet round, Winchester white box has a slight squaring off of the top of the round. So I thought maybe that was it. So I went and picked up cellular and billets. And after I went to the range with these just yesterday, not one of them fired. And so I have only fired about 25 successful rounds, I'm guessing, but 25 successful rounds from this gun. I examined the cartridge cases and I could see that they were very light primer strikes. Some of them barely even a strike at all. There would be a little scratch on the primer or a tiny little dent. And so I called Classic Firearms back and told them what the problem was and asked them if I could send it back and get another one. And they said, no, you know, one send back was enough. You know, they said that they could give you a full refund on that or you could just take it and have it fixed yourself. And I just opted to uh, go ahead and send it back and get my refund. And I'm just gonna go ahead and rechannel that money to a handgun that I've got on layaway already. And I'm not gonna tell you what that is yet. So yeah, this is it. This is a bittersweet review. I've got a tear on one side and a smile on the other. But I'll tell you what, if this thing were firing adequately, and I do mean all the time, when I expect it to, uh, there'd be no way I would get rid of this thing. Now let's go ahead and take it down. Take down on this thing and you're going to have to forgive me for some of the things you may not see because it's really hard to do this around a camera. I'm actually approaching this from an angle. Push down on this and swing your barrel bushing 
And so I'm holding in that guide rod right here and your barrel bushing will swing all the way up to the top, 180 degrees, you pull it out and you gently release your spring right there. And then next you gotta take this out. So you can kind of wiggle this just a little bit right here, right? To get this out, there we go. There's that. And then your slide comes off. And the part that they fixed first was this here hammer and trigger assembly. See how it just pulls out? That's just like the other Zastava Tokarev pistol. That assembly just comes out. They just replaced that and it was a much better trigger. And this is the inside. You can see it's very basic. Not much to it. And the inside, of course, this is the uh, spring and guide rod assembly right here. Right? You can see there's sort of a metal tip on there. And there's a squared off section there. And the barrel is right here. And to put it back together, everything is in reverse order. You put the barrel in right here. You put your guide rod and spring back as such, just like this. And you make sure that the square end right here is down where it should be right there. And it's going to look something like that. And then you got to put your hammer assembly back into the pistol. But be careful because this thing can fall out very easily. And this is where the crafty work gets done because you have to slightly the slide back onto the frame, bring it back to this point right here. Then you get your pin, your takedown pin, and you put it in and you click it into place right here. That's when you put on your barrel bushing. And then you, then you swing your barrel bushing over, clicks into place. Disco. And again, this is a great trigger once they replace that unit. Now that it's back together, shooting this thing, I suppose was good. I mean, it didn't have a very heavy recoil and it seemed to be pretty accurate. I've got that target shot there and I do have some range footage as you can see. The recoil is very, very light with this. So this was a very pleasant handgun to shoot. And I really wish I could have derived more pleasure from this. But it was really hard to tell whether or not I was going to enjoy shooting this thing or not when I was troubleshooting the whole time. <sighs> so far, no good. I was waiting for this thing to either shoot or not shoot. It felt good in the hand. This is a very ergonomic feeling handgun for the weight and size. This feels pretty good. It feels pretty natural in your hand. You know, It's just a basic grip, so it's nothing really to write home about. It is not the ergos of the Smith & Wesson M&P series or anything like that, but it's pretty nice. It is a very small handgun. The Yugoslavians call this the little B. So if you're thinking about getting the Zastava M70 handgun, I say do it. You know, this is a pretty nice handgun. And I may have gotten an unlucky pick right here, but most other people are not. So I would not judge the Zastava M70 pistol on my pistol. Judge it on what others are experiencing and look around YouTube and you'll see other people have this handgun. Look at Such 00, he's got one going. It comes with two 32 ACP magazines and it comes with this attractive yet functional leather holster, which I was really nice and softened with leather cleaner and oil for them right now. So this is really nice and they're gonna get back an even better holster than when it came to me. So folks, this is it. This is the Zastava M70 pistol. If you like what I've been doing on the Two and Proper channel and you'd like to see more frequent content, better content, and for things to get a lot more lively around here, why not consider going over to Patreon and becoming a supporter of the Two and Proper channel and the Two and Proper network. Tell your friends about Patreon, but also tell them about Two and Proper on YouTube and don't forget about Two and Proper on WordPress. It's only a dollar a month or three dollars a month. And this has become really necessary because over at YouTube here, they have a problem with conservatives and gun channels or anything that does not reflect an absolute left point of view. And the only way we can get things done is through subscriber type or donation type means. And that's where you come in. And geez, if you want to see my content get even better, that'll definitely help. For just a dollar or three dollars a month, you'd be helping the little guy. So folks, thanks for watching. I'm Chris and this has been To Improper Citizen Carry Channel. My email address is scrolling across the bottom of the screen as we're speaking right now. That's toimproper at gmail.com. 
write and I will answer you, provided you're going to be polite about whatever it is you have to say and if I've got the time. Thanks for watching, folks. God bless America and keep on protecting your families, yourselves, your country, your flag, and its honor. It is always the right thing to do.